Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed this look. This is a winter wonderland makeup look. I love this look. I would wear it to a holiday party. I would wear it to church. I would wear it to you could wear this look any day of the year, but I wanted this look to be like a winter wonderland, have winter, I wanted this look to have winter wonderland vibes, you know, you know, you could wear this when you're on the ski slope or, you know, just anyway, I just wanted to experiment with some cool tone, um, tones and I came up with this. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not already. I love hearing from you guys. I love when I get new subscribers. And also hit the notification bell to be notified so you can be a part of the family. Don't want to miss a video because girl, there's a lot of stuff happening on this channel. So yeah, if you'd like to know how to achieve this look, then just keep on watching. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming a winter wonderland makeup tutorial for the holiday season. I have been listening to a lot of Christmas music recently. Um, I've been listening to a lot of like Kenny G's Christmas album. I've been listening to a lot of Michael Bublé and Mariah Carey. I was inspired by this girl. Brianna Jasmine and she did like a cut crease silver purple makeup look and I really liked it. I'm going to be doing something similar to this um, because I've always wanted to do something with like a cut crease, like a glitter cut crease sort of thing. Blue and add a little bit more silver to the look because I want some like silver, um, you know, those colors, like really cool toned colors. I'm going to start with my Interstellar palette from Kat Von D and this is a very cool toned eyeshadow palette. I'm going to take this shade right here. This is Killing Moon which is this nice um, transition shade. It's like a, like a brown um, purple shade. I'm going to apply that with my M441 from Morphe. I love Kat Von D's shadows. They are so beautiful. This purple right here, this is called 3AM. And I'm going to take that on my M433. I'm building up the color on the outer edge here. Now I'm going to take this like gray color down here. This is Dark Star. This really pretty like, well it's a metallic I think. A metallic um, silvery purple shade. I can't really tell what it is but it's really pretty. Um, so I'm going to take that on the outer edge of the eye just to make it a little bit more, um, give some more depth to the outer edge on my M433 especially because it has a lot of those gray tones and purple tones. I'm going to take um, that purple shade 3AM and use that to find the outer edge a little bit more. I'm just going to pack it on. I'm going to take a little bit more of the first shade we used which is Killing Moon and pop that in the crease. Now I'm going to take a clean R37 and blend this out just to smooth out the harsh edges. I really want to use this blue here called, it's like a really light blue, but it's so pretty. This is called Gios and I'm going to put that all over the lid with my N210 from Morphe. Whoa, look at that. That is pigmented, girl. That is pigmented. I'm going to wet that with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. It has a little bit of silver reflex to this color probably. Using the other side of the brush to use the harsh edge here. We want it to fade into that. So now I'm going to go back into 3AM with my M506 from Morphe and or define the outer edge a little bit more. This is the Metal Matte Palette from Kat Von D um, that she released last year. 
So I'm gonna take this shade called Tinsel, which is a really pretty silver shade, and I'm going to pat that in the center of the lid. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of velvet right here in the Kat Von D palette, metal matte palette. Put that on the outer edge. I'm gonna mix that with a little bit of ribbon. Now I'm gonna do liner and lashes, and I will be right back. Okay, so I did my lashes and liner and everything off of camera, and then I did my foundation, powder, my bronzer and stuff because that has not changed at all. Um, that's all the same. You guys have seen it a million bazillion times. So to save time, I just did all that off of camera. So now I'm going to move on to contour and blush, and I have a few new things for those. Makeup Forever came out with these pans that you can customize you can make you can put in a highlighter or you can put in a bronzer or blush and they come in a set of three for 45 dollars at sephora so i'm going to show you what i created this is my little palette it has a mirror which i love i haven't tried these yet because i wanted to try them out on camera for you guys so i'm going to take the middle shade right here and this is i'll have it listed on the screen for you guys because i can't like take them out right now so i'm going to take that on my r13 from morphe so i'm going to take this blush this is b208 and the only reason i remember that number is because everyone has been talking about this blush especially tati was using it for a while so i'm going to be using that to blush out my cheeks it's a really nice pink neutral shade on my E49. For highlighter, I'm gonna take Ice Cold from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I don't really use this because it's really, really white. So I'm going to apply this to the cheeks. My R36. I want that icy winter wonderland feel. I'm going to highlight with that in the inner corner with my E36. For the lower lash line, I'm going to take Velvet and Ribbon from the Metal Matte Palette. My M432 from Morphe. And apply that to the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Silk next to Ribbon and blend that out. Okay, I'm going to take my Dip Brow from Anastasia Beverly Hills and outline my brows with my small angled uh, brush, my E65 from Sigma. Put some mascara on the lower lash line. I'm using the Makeup Shayla X Maybelline the Big Shot Colossal Mascara. Now I'm gonna take my Urban Decay um, Chill Setting Spray. I'm going to line my lips with um, ColourPop's Lip Pencil in the shade Frickin' Frack. And for lipstick, I'm going to take the Smashbox B Legendary lipstick in the shade Cognog. And this is the final look. I love how it turned out. I, I love the eye look that I came up with. It's a very winter wonderland look that you, you could wear it to a Christmas party or you could wear it to date night or whatever you want. I wanted to do something a little bit different rather than the warm toned holiday looks that I've been seeing. I'll give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below with what other tutorials you would like to see on this channel. If you'd like to see more holiday looks, let me know in the comments and I will make that happen for you. Please subscribe if you have not already. I upload at least twice a week on this channel, or at least I've tried to. I had, I know I haven't been uploading lately because of my schedule and everything like that. But yeah, I will be uploading some more holiday looks and doing a best of 2017. And and you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. Those are all some sort of version of Victoria Claire, except for my Snapchat, which is X 3 I hope you guys are having a lovely day, evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Hey.